Hey guys, AJ here from 3D Printing Systems. Today's video is for those of you who are new to 3D printing and have just purchased an Up Mini 2 3D printer. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Up Mini 2. You'll find the power and USB connections on the rear of your printer located next to the power switch. Plug in your power cable and plug in your USB and then connect your USB to your PC. Once you've connected your printer, we next need to install the filament. So take your filament holder, turn it around because the filament will need to come out of the back of the filament holder to go to the back of your printer. Take the cover off, grab your filament. Now be careful never let, to let go of the end of your filament, otherwise it can start to unravel and you can end up with tangles. So I'll put our filament in and then we'll need to grab our feeder tube and insert the end of the filament into the end of our feeder tube. And we'll keep inserting the filament until it comes out the other end of our feeder tube. Once we've done that, the feeder tube should be inserted down to this rubber grommet down here. See how the filament's sitting nicely inside? Push the feeder tube all the way through and that's gonna reduce any friction from the rubber affecting the filament and instead it will hold the feeder tube in place. Set your filament cartridge so it's about 10 centimeters away from your printer and put the cap back on the filament holder. Next we need to insert the filament feeder tube into the back of the printer. To insert the feeder tube we need to open the front door over here, back door, raise the handle and remove the magnetic covers on the top. Now in the back door over here, there is a small hole for the feeder tube to insert through. So put our feeder tube through there, and then at the print head mount, there's another slot for our feeder tube to go through, and we'll just make sure that the filament feeds it down into the hole in the print head too. There we go. Let's switch the power on at the back of our printer and now that we've inserted the filament we'll need to do uh, an extrude but first we'll have a look at the menu options that come up. So we've had the little manufacturer's logo come up and now we've got the main menu screen or the home screen. So because we haven't initialized our printer we don't have all the options available. So that's the first thing we'll do. Click initialize, press a tick and your printer will initialize. This is basically like starting up or, or turning on your printer and it will now calibrate itself. This is only something that you need to do when you're first turning on the printer. If you've already finished a print and the printer is still running, you don't need to reinitialize. All right, machine initialization finished and we've got a few options here. All right, so material option is one we'll get to to extrude the material. So let's have a look at that. Got a few options here. We've got retract, which means to, is what you'll use to remove the material. We've got extrude, which is what we'll use in a second to install the material into the print head. We've got ABS, which is our plastic setting. And if we click that, we can scroll through different plastic settings and each will have its own temperature settings for the plastic you're using. And then we've got 500 grams over here. Now with that, we can press minus or plus in case we're loading a larger or a smaller spool. But if it's a brand new spool, it'll be 500 grams. Going back, we've also got print, which will show previous prints. They'll be stored, up to 10 prints can be stored at a time. Calibrate. Now to calibrate your printer, all you need to do is hit auto, and then it will set its nozzle height. So this is something you'll need to do when you first set up the printer. In fact, you should do it before installing the filament because if the nozzle is too hot then the printer will come up with an error message and won't allow you to do it. So our one's been set, that's 123.4 millimeters, and that's how far the, no the uh, platform needs to move up for it to start printing. Information about your printer, it'll have your model, serial number, version number, etc. And you can change the language on your printer as well if you want to. Reset is to restore it back to its factory settings. Config, we've got our Wi-Fi option, we can turn the lighting on and off, and we've also got preheat. So if you're starting a, a print from a stored memory, 
If you select preheat, your printer will do a 15 to 15 minute preheat before it starts printing. And we've got our Wi-Fi button up here to set to change our Wi-Fi settings. But that's something you can do. It'll be dependent on your on your settings at home. All right, and then lastly, initialize, which we've already done, so we don't need to redo. So let's go to material. We've already put the material in our print head. We need to do an extrude. Now, when we click that, you'll hear a beep, and that's the printer letting us know that the print head is starting to heat. And in the top left corner here, we've got the temperatures. On the left side here, we've got the print head temperature, which is now starting to raise. And on the right hand side, we've got the platform temperature. Now, because we haven't started heating the platform, that's going to stay at about room temperature or maybe just above. Our print head's just about to reach temperature. When it does, it's going to start pulling this filament through. So just keep your fingers on the end until you feel the gear grab. If it doesn't grab, you may have to push in a little bit further. But ours is starting to grab it there, and it's now starting to pull the filament through. Once it does that, just slot your feeder tube all the way into the print head as well. And you can take your covers and put them back on top. There's our extrusion finished, so we've got a little bit of material that's come out. Remove that from the printer and discard it, and we'll close the front door. So now that you've installed your filament, the last step is to put the top lids back on your printer. Now take note of what's underneath your top lids, because one of them will have a sticker with important safety information and how to get in touch with us if you are having any trouble with your printer. The next step for you is to use the UpStudio software to set up and begin your print. Now if you're not familiar with the UpStudio software, check out our UpStudio software video for further information. Until next time, happy printing.